It will go away. Just stay calm. It will go away. A lot of people think that goes away in April with the heat, as the heat comes in. Uh, typically, that will go away in April. We're in great shape, though. You treat this like a flu. Fifteen people mm -hmm. out of billions of people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fifteen people. Yeah. They're getting better, mm -hmm. and soon they're all going to be better. Hopefully, it's going to disappear. One day, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. Now, the Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. You know that, right? Coronavirus. And this is their new hoax. So healthy people, if you're healthy, uh, you will probably uh, go through a process, and, and you'll be fine. Take a, a solid flu vaccine. You don't think that would have an impact or much of an impact on Corona? No, no. probably not. Mr. President, is it safe or appropriate to be holding rallies during a public health crisis like this? Uh, I think it's very safe. Yeah, I think it's very safe. Things are going very well, as you see. Do you believe it's inevitable that the coronavirus will spread across the country? No, I don't think that's inevitable at all. We have right. a report today, the global death rate at 3.4 percent. Well, I think the 3.4 percent is really a false number. Now, this is just my hunch. Personally, I would say the number is way under 1 percent. At this moment, we think we have it very much in hand. It's going to all work out. Everybody has to be calm. It's all going to work out. It will end. People have to remain calm. Be calm. It's really working out, and a lot of good things are going to happen. What do you say to Americans who are concerned that you're not taking this seriously enough, and that some of your statements don't match what your health experts are saying? That's CNN, fake news. This is just a temporary moment of time. We're in great shape compared to other places. Uh, we are in really good shape. And five million within a month, I doubt we'll need anywhere near that. As of this moment, we have 50 deaths which is uh, a lot of good decisions were made, or that number could be many times that. But it's something that we have uh, tremendous control of. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your response to this crisis? I'd rate it a 10. I think we've done a great job. And we're going to win. And I think we're going to win faster than people think, I hope. But we're going to defeat the invisible enemy. I think we're going to do it even faster than we thought. And it will be a complete victory. It'll be a total victory. Because people get better. I mean, most people are getting better. Most, by far, the people, are, you get better. Is it possible that your impulse to put a positive spin on things may be giving Americans a false sense of hope? No, I don't think so. Many doctors, and I've read many, many doctors, they can't believe the great job that we've done. Doing it the way we're doing it is much better. It's really much better. America will again and soon be open for business. Uh, very soon. We're near the end of our historic battle with the invisible enemy. I think it's ridiculous. We don't have to do it. A lot of those states could go back right now, and they probably will.